I'm in space and I sound like Darth Vader. Super cool. Now normally the speed would be like right about here. And you had to walk this whole, even lower than that, I had to walk this whole platform going super slow on the original. But as you can see, you look like a retard, but they bumped it up to crack speeds. Which is something I like to see because this part was excruciating. Absolutely banging head against the wall type shit slow. So we're just going to say shit slow. Bad That's shit. about time. I lost your signal after you left the mining tunnels. Now you're coming in clear. Except I'm picking you up on the exterior of the facility. On the asteroid surface. That can't be right. Huh? What are you doing out there? You're crazy. Even for a Jedi. Look, you need to get out of there, quick. What little is left of the facility's venting systems have gone active. Most likely from the explosions in the mining tunnels. They're venting Paragas fuel deposits into space through the exterior vents, right in your path. I can't. I'm locked out of the main systems here. I couldn't shut it down if I tried. The vents look like they've been purposely rerouted to vent the gases to the exterior. And only in the last few minutes, it's almost as if... Now what now? Oh, the Harbinger's coming. I don't believe this. There's a ship coming in, sending a docking code. I have a bad feeling about this. It's like he like started nibbling on some of the body parts. Cannibals. It's not even deploying it anywhere on the ship. There's no door. Huh. I didn't see a door when that thing went in. It's like an imaginary entrance that is made with that space thingy extractor comes out. Ah, I just, I'm gonna not even try to figure it out. We all know how old this game is. Still, it's a great laugh on the architectural it's not even a word. It just sounds like it could be. <laughs> oh, what? We're getting closer to death. Oh, shit.
pretty sure you guys could read that. And if you couldn't, I don't have to read it for you. <laughs> Come on now. It would be a 40 minute video if I had to read everything that this game loves to throw at you. But pause the video if you want to uh, get a little more feedback. I already kind of know what to do, so no biggie for me. I kind of remember this part. I can do an upgrade here. It's a nice turret, and I can't hit it. There we go. Man, I wonder how my hands feel after all this. Get that sword out. Oh. Let's have my secondary be the sword. Public blaster. And you gotta hit X to assemble. There we go. That's a weapon bench. Pretty simple.
coming in. Oh, this is a close one. shot than uh, focus down there. Finally, got to use some of these big pegs. That's not hurting me. that triggered the emergency lockdown. Just finished helping the dock officer set up the transmission relay. Not much signal strength, but it's better than nothing. The transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift when or if help arrives. Code is a simple group of five numbers. Three, 17, 13, then the next two numbers are- Sir, couldn't we contact the med bay? Maybe the Jedi's awake. If so, he could help us. No good. The link to the medical computer was severed from the hub, just like the administration console. Even if the Jedi wakes up, how would we get the dormitory turbo lift code to him? Without it, the turbo lift to the administration level is locked down. We just took an inventory of our supplies. We've got enough emergency rations in the dormitories to last almost a month. But with all the problems in the facility, I don't know how long we'll last. I wish we could contact the Jedi. Maybe he could... Yeah, but no, he's still floating in that damn tank. Someone's played us for fools. And since Corda and his crew aren't locked in here with us, it's pretty clear who it was. If I ever catch up with that Mandalorian loving son of a... At least the air scrubbers are still working, even though they're tied into the... Hey, Say what's happening to the ventilation boss? system? It's...
Damn, killed those guys. know kind of what happened. Ooh, I actually got a new armor. system on one of these corpses. A poison breather mask thingy, but I'm not seeing it. Just like I said, the drops are different every time you play. Love that. Alright, I got basically everything I can grab. Let's get out of here. the dormitories. We should be safe here. We've been trying to use the holo transmitter to beam a transmission to the administration level to end the lockdown, but the administration console's been severed from the main hub. Everyone thinks we should try to evacuate on our own as soon as possible, but there's no way to break the dormitory seals from the inside. I'm going to keep sending distress calls in the meantime. We've been trying to find a way to circumvent the lockdown and get to our hangar bay, but so far, no luck. Managed to use the holo transmitter here as a crude relay to beam short burst transmissions outside the Paragas facility. With any luck, the transmission will carry beyond the asteroid field. We've set the emergency transmission on automatic playback. We're using a simple military flash code to transmit the code to the turbo lifts, so maybe our rescuers can get down to the dormitory when they reach the station. Without those turbo lift codes, our rescuers wouldn't be able to get here from the administration level. And without those codes, we wouldn't be able to get to the administration level if we found a way out on our own. The messages are short distress calls only, since we can't get much signal strength. It's pretty weak, so unless a ship is actively searching the area, it might be a long time before a ship picks up the message. After all, who would be scouring frequencies way out here looking for trouble? And then he died. Yep. That is all we get for backstories. So. I knew I could get through this door. Found some pretty cool armor. Never got this in the beginning. I played the beginning quite a few times. Got some upgrades for the equipment. Once we get out of here.
definitely want to pick up everything you can. You could also build medic packs. And oh, there's the breather. Alright, so at least that's still here. So that actually is an item I suggest grabbing before going to the poison spot that I was at. That would have been a hell of a lot of something. Let's see what it looks like. It's like having a little cockroach on your nose, except maybe not so little. shields for days. Ooh, heavy blaster. Start off. 
code. And the code to get in there was right here. The guy said it. I already played it, but... Oh, what the hell. This may be the beginning of a... Just finished helping the doc. The transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift when or if help arrives. Code is a simple group of five numbers. Three, 17, 13, then the next two numbers are... Sir, couldn't we contact the med bay? Maybe the Jedi's awake. If so, he could help us. No good. The link to the medical computer was severed. Even if the Jedi... What? 3, 17, 13, 13... God damn it. They don't even give you all the right codes. Wait. The transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift when or if help arrives. That's just not helping me. Not having the next two numbers. Gonna have to blow it up. Oh, I can computer slice the door open. That's what I should have did to begin with, instead of trying to figure it out. Keep that in mind, guys. To try to figure it out, you don't want really to get anything out of it. You're still blasting shit. I have felt a disturbance. Our enemy is here. We must leave at once. We need to make our way to the docking area on this level. I fear the airlock has already opened, and if so, we must be on our guard. If we cannot reach the Ebon Hawk, then we must find a way to escape on the ship that has docked here. about to get on the Harbinger. And there's people following me. Snap. We should prepare to go. I believe. What in space is going on? Who's this? Another Jedi? What, did you guys suddenly start breeding when I wasn't looking? Uh, alright. I'm guessing that Republic ship that just docked isn't carrying friends of yours. I hope your talent for understatement is offset by your skill with a blaster. If not, then I fear our time together will be short indeed. Yeah, and I'm also good at running and drinking, Your Majesty. And even if you two aren't big friends of the Republic, that warship's the only way off this station. Good thing we have a clear run to the ship. Threat. Master, perhaps I did not enunciate clearly the last time we spoke. I suggested that you should shut down, stay put, and wait for rescue. Clarification. Assassin and droid is such a crude term, Master. Reserved for Durasteel drones uploaded with only the most archaic kill programs. The function I perform has been referred to as wanton slaughter. I prefer to see it as a means of facilitating communication, resulting in the termination of hostilities. Indignant answer, Master. The miners intended to place you in jeopardy. I could not allow that to take place, so I was forced to negotiate a termination of hostilities. After reprogramming the mining droids to mine any organics they perceived, they began to kill the miners one by one. Then a series of flawlessly timed explosions drove the miners into their dormitories, 
where I was able to gas them all at once without wasting time hunting them through the mining tunnels. I then administered a large dose of sedatives to the remaining miners in the med bay, enough to kill them, but ensure you slept peacefully. Of course, against my calculations, you awaken from your tank prematurely. I am ashamed by the inconvenience that caused for both of us. Oh, you are the one I had to kill. Resignation. Very well, Master. If inflicting pain is the only means to resolve this matter, then you leave me no choice.